Hi guys, Mikey of the 732 Review Crew back. I am watching Cowboy Bebop currently. This is episode number six titled Sympathy for the Devil. And I wonder if it has any relation to last episode or if it's continuation or if it's going to be just a brand new story moving along. Um, as of last episode, we found out a little bit more about Jet and his past and his relationship that he had with a mysterious woman. And I wonder if we're going to figure out more about that anytime soon or if we're just going to keep going. Otherwise, uh, thank you for joining me for my ride through Cowboy Bebop, and we're going to be starting in three, two, one. Thank you. Doctor? It's like a baby being born or something? No, my God, no. Oh, my God. Organ harvesting? Jeez. Oh, what? Jet's not human fully. He's got like a body that's full of replaced parts. Okay. Things are getting interesting. Like, I'm sorry. Wow. All this stuff is dog food, yikes. Yeah, I gave him some. We shouldn't eat it. If you don't work, you don't eat. You're a hunting dog. Hunt up some food. We girls are different. We have to be pampered because we're delicate and refined. She eats dog food. Holy crap, she just ate that dog's dog food. I hope he's so mad. I hope he gets some vengeance. Oh my god. Go poop in her suit. shoe. Yo, hey, Fatty. Huh? Fatty River, long time no see, buddy. Oh, who'd have guessed if it is a jet black? Jet black. Well, well, when the hell did you blow in? Oh my god. I listened to the blues when I was still in my father's sack, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Jeez, oh my god. This show is not what I expected it to be. You trying to kidnap the little kid? What's going on? Give it back now! What? You, what? Zebra? What? Giraffe and zebra? Yeah! Thank you, Miss Zebra. landing oh wow he took him out little boy is weird don't don't be fooled by him he needs help now help him what the stone the st uh, wait oh nice bounty how's he gonna cash in this thing is gonna pay for our food our food not yours you know i think your heart's made out of lead not like me i'm a nice guy I have a gift for you. Yay! All right, what is it? An official invoice? An invoice for what? All the expenses you've racked up since you've been on I this I love this. You know that kid on the Blues Heart the other day? Name's Wen. Giraffe was after the kid's so-called father, an old friend. Wen? He goes by the name Zebra. They were friends? Jeez, you didn't even know that? The two of them were the leaders of the self-defense volunteer squad. Mm. They say Zebra double-crossed him so he could run the squad solo. Zebra turns up in a wheelchair with the kid. Guess it didn't turn out the way. Zebra transfer his consciousness to the kid or something? Oh. Tell me, who are you? Little boy's talking. But Zebra shot Giraffe. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Then why would Giraffe ask him to help the kid? It doesn't make sense. Kid's a genius. Plays like an old pro. Hey, wait a minute. This guy isn't Zebra. Hmm? This was published 30 years what? ago. What the How fuck? How he have the same face? Come here, let's talk. Little twerp like you sticks his neck out too far. He'll get it cut off, understand? What the hell? Definitely the R&D facility? What? Sorry, but I'm not a kid. Yeah, all kids say that. I know what I look like, but I was alive when this place was an outpost, before the asteroids were even settled. Is he an alien? What? What? The fuck? Hmm. What? What is that? Meteors? Solar flare? War? What just happened? 
Oh, wow. Wow. The hyperspace gate had blown to bits. From that day on, my body completely stopped. What? Aging. What? A hyperspace gate died? I needed a new cover, someone to play the part of my parent. Don't do Help, giraffe. Oh my god. Now, where's the ring? Ring? What ring? Ooh, spike. Oh, hit him. Wait, wait, you can't die, right? Or like, can you take damage? Like, why? Wow. He's alive. A hotel room. That's it. He's remembering the time Giraffe got blown away. Get it back now, Zebra! Oh, you I have it now. I can do you in with this. This stone has the power to return time to you. Okay, what? Wow. Now we understand. Oh, he watched like his best friend or something die, basically. When the gate exploded, a coordinate system was created from the resulting twists in hyperspace. Mm -hmm. A kind of singularity that drew in vast amounts of energy. Okay. Enclosing and crystallizing them into a single faceted stone. Uh -huh. The gem that makes up this Makes room. sense. Okay. His pineal body continually produces a substance like melatonin that inhibits aging. What the fuck? That's crazy. But he's not like invincible, he just doesn't age. Okay. There's no way to know for sure until we stick the gym into the kid and find out. I know he is invincible. What? They turned into a bullet? Men are such total idiots. Someone has a crush. Okay, okay, okay. I see what you're doing. Okay, so he is technically invincible. Oh, 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 oh. What? <laughs> That's crazy. Look at his music. Hold it as steel. Not moving, he's so confident. Did it not kill him? Does this make him young again? Oh, is is he aging? Oh wow. I thought it would just take away the ability, not instantly age. Wow. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Oh. That's crazy background. He's gonna shoot it, obviously. Bang. Oh, nope, just gonna say the word bang. That was a really good episode. So we get a little bit more of Jet's backstory. It looked like he was in some sort of sorry, Spike's backstory. Wow. So we see back in a lab, Spike was being basically made into a very cybernetic person, which allowed him probably to achieve a lot of the feats we've seen him do from being a great pilot to a great shot to put in fights against people bigger than him and multiple people. It also gives him the endurance and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Maybe it helps out with his luck too. We talked about like, you know, with the gambling, he's just extra intelligent because of this extra hardware. Something I don't really think about too often in the show is that cybernetic stuff. Um, but I mean, it's obviously so far in the future that these hyper hyper warp gates basically exist. I mean, when these warp gates like, explode, it either causes almost like a causes like a catas like an extinction level event, basically, which what we saw. Or was that like a ship failing to go through the gate and like because of the gate crashed and like the ship itself warped into the planet at like super speed for some sort of resistance level? I don't. I don't know, that was crazy just to witness that and then go from like a happy moment with like a look like a family. And you could see that the 
the being doesn't even remember what they look like to be honest his parents if those are his parents their faces fully doesn't have the details which is a great little throwback i'm sorry not throwback a little bit of information you get from just like the art it's beautiful um now this crazy because i don't know how he works where he takes people over and forces him to do his bidding maybe he has some sort of powers because he's also you know the immense energy was so immense that it created a, a ring of a gem that was turned into a ring so i mean obviously there's other things that could happen um we get a little bit more fleshing out of Faye and the fact that she is very selfish which we knew about but even towards animals where we see i and a cute dog he just wants dog food but Faye's like nope i need to eat this which was Ugh. only thing left in the fridge obviously so you're gonna eat it but still that's kind of sad um i really did really enjoy this episode ours beautiful storytelling everything like that's beautiful i love the developing nature of the crew obviously spike and Jet have some sort of pre-arranged agreement including bounties whereas Faye is and is a more outsider still where she's given an invoice for her time there which was serious and tongue-in-cheek at the same time from jet um it's very interesting to see you know I, I never expected to see an episode like this in the show where it's almost supernatural you know extraordinary beings caused by like technology it's cool because you know the warp gates but i don't really have much else to add that was a fun episode it's pretty self you know self-contained as usual and I can't wait to see where we keep going. So thank you for joining me. I'm Mikey. Check out the Patreon if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. Bye.